Hello everyone. I'm Ekarat Samindra Pandya, a director of Hydro and Renewable Energy Power Plant Development Division from Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand or ECAT. Today is my great pleasure to share with you about ECAT's Hydro Voting Solar Hybrid Project Development, which plays an important role in driving Thailand towards uh, sustainability, uh, sustainability energy in the future. While the world is dealing with the increasing violence of climate change, various countries have set goals to reduce greenhouse gas emission in earnest. For Thailand, the goal is to achieve net zero carbon dioxide emissions or a carbon neutrality by 2050. ECAT plays great importance on reducing carbon dioxide emissions, starting from increasing renewable energy, mainly hydro falling solar hybrid with battery energy storage system, implementing grid modernization, to support the increase of renewable energy in the power system and seeking modern technolo uh, technologies and clean energy such as hydrogen fuel. According to the current power development plan or PDP, the power capacity will increase to 77 gigawatts in 2033. It increases the share of renewable energy more than 30% and reduce reliance on the fossil fuel. The renewable capacity comes from many energy sources, such as biomass, biogas, solar, wind, waste, hydro, and one of them is hydro folding solar hybrid, which is operated by EGAT with a total capacity of 2,725 megawatts. Now, Thailand is in the process of revising PDP. The new plan is targeted to reduce carbon dioxide emission and increase more RE proportion, especially solar power. This is a great opportunity for renewable development in Thailand. Under the current PDP, we will develop hydro folding solar hybrid for 14 projects with the total capacity of 2,725 megawatts in ECAT's multi-purpose dams area located in every region in Thailand. The pilot project at the Silinton Dam was successfully completed now we are moving on to the second project at Ubudrat Dam, which um, 24 megawatt solar capacity. The highlight of this project is to add battery storage to the hybrid system to increase stability of power generation. The project is now in the bidding process and the construction will begin by the end of this year, and it's expected to operate commercially in 2023. The other 14 projects will be developed and enter the system as planned. We have been making the renewable projects to be cheaper, more stable. We also prevent the detrimental effects on the community and environment. Here are three aspects of the development guideline. First, low cost. To set a competitive price by utilize water surface of ECAS reservoir for the project site to save cost and land procurement. Decide to maximize the use of existing facilities of hydro power plant to save cost of main equipment for grid connection. In addition, project sites to achieve economy of scale of optimizing the fixed cost of project. Second, high stability. To create energy with smart technologies, 
in order to reduce intermittency of renewable energy, it is divided into three phases. Phase one, flexibility. Combine hydro and solar power for a hybrid generation controlled by energy management system. Phase two, stability. Additional battery system is utilized to enhance stability of generation. And phase three, security. Build renewable um, RE control center to control all renewable plants across the country with one platform. And lastly, eco-friendly. It is important to develop the project to, to reduce the negative impact on the community and environment. So we conduct code of practice and carry out environmental and safety assessment. Use eco-friendly materials such as the HDPE pontoon with food grade quality, select project sites on water surface of EGATS dam, which will not affect land use or for agriculture. In addition, improve quality of life and stimulate economy with new landmark for the local community. It is a combination of hydropower and floating solar power, which is controlled by the energy management system or EMS to make power generation more flexible and efficient. Moreover, the hybrid system includes water forecast in order to generate solar power in advance. According to the concept, solar power is mainly generated during daytime while hydropower is reserved at night or when there is no sunlight. The hybrid system manages power generation based on natural conditions. This will make maximize the use of hydro and solar power and also increase generation efficiency. On the graph, you can see Thailand's daily electricity profile. Hydropower is mainly reserved in the morning, afternoon, and nighttime as shown in the blue line. But with the hybrid system, solar power can be generated during daytime peak hours as in yellow line. And to keep more hydropower for the nighttime peak hours as seen in light blue dash line. The hydro floating solar hybrid project minimizes the limitations of electricity gen generation from solar cells that rolls on the water. An energy management system allows two types of renewable energy to generate electricity efficiently and continuously for longer periods of time, which enhances the country's power system security and minimizes water management efficiency. Main function consists of three parts. One, data integration. Real time is collected and integrated with the plan in order to plan power generation accurately. Two, data analysis. Power generation forecast is analyzed to manage hybrid generation effectively. And three, automation. Automatic operation is offered to monitor and control the hybrid system. Now let's look at our pilot hydro for the solar hybrid project. We installed 45 megawatt solar capacity hybrid with an existing hydropower. It's located at Surinton Dam in the northeastern of Thailand. The site of the installed area is about 180 acres or only 0.27% of total water surface. And it was operated commercially in October 2021. The project divides 
the installation into seven islands as shown in the left picture. Let's have a look at the main equipment for this project. Double glass, monocrystalline PV module, HDPE floats with food grade, bottom anchoring with dead weight concrete and stainless steel rope. Central inverter, 22 kilovol switch gear. And this project connects to the existing 115 kilovol substation. This project provides green energy with low cost, high sp uh, stability, and eco-friendly. This project also increased RE capacity and reduce natural gas imported for electricity generation at um, 730 billion BTU per year. Reduce CO2 emission by cutting down 47,000 tons of fossil fuel a year or 15,040 acres of forest area. Reduce 460,000 cubic meters of water evaporation a year and follow Thailand carbon neutrality policy. Let's look at our second hydro floating solar hybrid project at Ubon Rat Dam, in which it's under the bidding process. We will install 24 megawatt solar capacity hybrid with existing 25.2 megawatt hydropower and six megawatt battery storage. It's also located in the northeastern of Thailand. The install area is 100 acres or only less than 1% of total water surface. This project is planned to operate commercially in December 2023. The project is divided into six islands as shown in the left picture. Let's have a look at the main equipment for this project. Double glass monocrystal IPV module, HDPE floats with food grade, bottom anchoring with dead weight concrete and stainless steel rope, string in water, 22 kV switch gear, 6 megawatt battery energy storage system. And the project connects to the existing substation. And that's all for IGATS Hydro for the Solar Hybrid Project Development. Thank you.